So let's have a look at Myriad Logging Recorder and the installation and licensing. So you double click on the file you can get from Broadcast Radio and have a read through of the license, which you can also print off there and then click on Install. And the installation will take place. You'll click on Finish. Then you can see the icon on the desktop and we just need to double click on the icon to load up. And because this is the first time that we've run it, it requires licensing. So we click on yes and we enter the P squared licensing wizard. Have a read through that. You can choose in the future to tick that checkbox to skip the screen in future. When you're ready, click on next. Click on next again as there's no license code entered. And this is where you enter your P squid. And also your contact name and email address needs to go in there too. Enter in your license name, which you will have received via email or over the telephone and click on set. Once you click on set, you can download the features code from the internet or you can type it in yourself. Click on next and we're gonna automatically obtain a license code over the internet. Click on next and we are successfully licensed. So now we load up the application and because this is the first time we've run it, there's no SQL database inserted. What you can do is you can either type it in there or you can click on the magnifying glass to the right hand side, which will automatically search for an existing SQL Express database. Once it's found it, you'll see it in the drop down list and we're using Windows authentication. And so we click on OK. So that's found our SQL database, but it's not found a Myriad logging version 5 database. So what we need to do is we need to start up the recording service, which is, you can see here, it's found in control panel, administrative tools, services. So we'll go to services now and you'll see it there, the broadcast radio Myriad logging recorder and click on start to start that service up. Once that's done, we can close that window down and we can go back to the login and we can click on retest. It's now found our database and has created a database within our SQL and we're now being asked to choose where to record the new log from which we'll cover in the next video.